Namoto from Japan and my co-chairperson co is uh, famous Professor La from Hong Kong. Uh, the first speaker is Dr. Masanori Isogawa from Nagoya, Japan, and his, the topic is his talk is the impact of hepatic antigen presentation on HBB specific CD8 plus T cell responses. Dr. Isogawa, please. Thank you very much, Dr. Enomoto. Uh, I'd like to thank organizers, uh, particularly Dr. Uh, Atsushi Tanaka, uh, for uh, providing me this wonderful opportunity. Uh, my, uh, the title of my talk is The Impact of Hepatic Antigen Presentation on HPV Specific CD T cell Responses. Uh, this study was done at Nagoya State University as well as the Scripps Research Institute. So as you know, the H hepatitis B virus is partially double-stranded DNA virus that causes acute and chronic hepatitis and hepatocellular carcinoma. And approximately, oh sorry, oh sorry. And approximately 250 million people die are uh, persistently infected with HPV, and they are at 100 for the increased risk of developing HCC. And over 1 million people die each year due to the HPV related complications. The importantly, there is no effective treatment to cure uh, chronic HPV infections, mainly due to the difficulties to eliminate uh, so called CCC DNA, uh, which serves as a template of HPV uh, replication. And the induction of functional HPV specific CD T cell is considered to be uh, a promising approach to, to, cre uh, to cre treat chronic HPV infections. And let me briefly uh, summarize HPV specific CD8 T cell responses. A vigorous polyclonal CD8 T cell response is uh, uh, readily detectable in peripheral blood of patients with acute hepatitis who ultimately clear HPV. In contrast, the peripheral blood CD8 T cell response in chronically infected patients is weak and narrowly focused. And finally, in experimentally infected chimpanzees, the depletion of CD8 T cell at the peak of viremia delays the viral clearance and the onset of viral hepatitis until T cell returns. And collectively, these data uh, prove that viral clearance and liver disease during HBB infections are mediated by viral specific CD8 T cells. Uh, despite this uh, very well documented importance of CD T cell responses, uh, very little is known how those HPV specific CD T cells are generated. So it is important for us to recognize that HPV infects only hepatocyte, but not professional antigen presenting cells. Uh, this simple fact uh, raises a very interesting uh, question. For example, we do, not, we do not know where HPV specific CD T cell recognize a cognate epitope. We also do not know which cell populations are prime HPV specific CD T cells. And unfortunately, HPV infects only human and the chimpanzees, uh, making it very difficult to address these questions. So to circumvent these uh, problems, the HPV transgenic mice was generated by the uh, Chisari group. This, these transgenic mice express all the HPV gene products, including core envelope uh, polymerase and X proteins in the hepatocyte. And questioning is shown here as an example. And they replicate HPV at high level uh, exclusively in the liver as evidenced by the southern blood analysis here. And they secrete a large number of virus and subviral antigens into the circulation. And just similar to the uh, experimentally infected chimpanzees, they do not mount spontaneously a innate immune response to HPV. Uh, because they are transgenic mice, they are immunologically tolerant to HPV at the T cell level, uh, requiring immunological reconstitution uh, to study uh, T cell HPV interactions. So accordingly, we generated T cell receptor trans HPV specific T cell receptor transgenic mice that express a TCR specific for a KB restricted epitope located between the range 93 to 100 in the HPV core protein. And as you can see here, the, the battery, all the CD8 T cell in these transgenic mice are uh, specific for this particular epitope. And they do not express activation marker CD69, nor do they express interferon gamma or ground MB after peptide stimulation, indicating that they are actually naive T cells. 
So to study how HBB specifically T cell respond to the interhepatically expressed HBB, we adaptively transfer those naive T cells from T cell transgenic mice into HBB transgenic mice I just tra introduced you. And in this paper, we found that HBB specific T cells are primed in the labor and expand in situ, but they fail to acquire the ability to produce interferon gamma or cytotoxicity, leading to viral clearance. In contrast, when the uh, dendritic cell in those uh, transgenic mice are activated by anti CD40 antibody, uh, they expanded more vigorously and now acquire the interferon gamma producing ability and as well as cytotoxicity. Uh, resulting in viral clearance. So these uh, study indicate that intrahepatic priming expand functionally impaired HPV specific CD T cells and activation of dendritic uh, cells rescued HPV specific CD T cells from functional impairment. Uh, but we still had many uh, unresolved questions uh, surrounding the HPV specific CD T cell in the liver. Uh, for example, we did not know how HBB specific CD T cell recognize antigen presented on hepatocyte. As you know, the, the liver blood uh, flows through the uh, a capillary uh, called hepatic sinusoid. And between the hepatic sinusoid and the hepat hep hepatocyte, there is a space commonly called the space of this. And we do not know how, uh, whether HBB specific CD T cell first need to extravasate from the hepatic sinusoid in order to recognize the antigen on hepatocyte, or the, those T cells somehow manage to uh, recognize the antigen through the endothelium. We also did not know what is the exact rural hepatic antigen presentation uh, in the induction of uh, CD T cell responses. So the first objective of this study is to visualize HBB specific CD T cells during antigen recognition in the liver. And the second objective was to determine the rule of hepatic antigen presentation in the induction of HBB specific CD T cells. In order to visualize the immunodynamics of HBB specific CD T cells in the liver, we first generated HBB specific effector T cells by stimulating the splenocyte site from this uh, HBB specific uh, T cell transgenic mice with cognate peptide for one week. And those effector T cells are then labeled with CFSC and adaptively transferred into HBB transgenic mice or non transgenic litamates. Uh, we visualized the, the T cell trafficking in the labor using. Uh, using the intravital imaging analysis on the surgically exposed liver of the recipient immediately after and 24 hours after adaptive transfer. We also used uh, electron tomography to visualize the T cell uh, hepatocyte interaction. So in this slide, the HBB specific CD T cells is shown in green. We also visualize the blood flow by injecting the fluorescence dye and the blood flow is shown in blue and the hepatic parenchyma is now uh, shown in black. Uh, as you can see, the, uh, those HBB specific CD T cells rapidly attaches to the uh, hepatic sinusoid. And you can also clearly see some of them uh, uh, cross the endothelium and enter the hepatic parenchyma. For example, you probably can see that now here. There. We then uh, visualize the HBB specific CD T cells uh, 24 hours after adaptive transfer. The T cells are uh, again showing green, but now blood flow is showing red and cell, uh, cell nucleus is showing blue. In the HBB transgenic mice, uh, all the HBB specific CD T cells are arrested in the hepatic parenchyma. In contrast, in non transgenic mice, the same HBB, uh, HBB specific T cells just migrate through the hepatic sinusoid without really entering a hepatic parenchyma. So these data suggest that antigen recognition is required for the T cell to penetrate, penetrate into the hepatic parenchyma. So uh, in order to visualize the T cell hepat hepatocyte interaction in the sinusoid, we developed a correlative technique uh, of the uh, confocal fluorescence microscope with a resolution of electron tomography. Uh, in this slide, the HBB specific CD T cells are shown uh, in orange instead of green. Uh, now the hepat uh, liver sinus, so the cell is shown in green. 
Uh, you can probably appreciate that a part of the tissue is extended to the hepatic parenchyma area. The electron tomography of this area clearly demonstrates that the uh, part of HBB specific CD tissues now interlocked with the hepatocyte while they are still in the uh, in the serum, oh, sorry, the uh, hepatic sinusoid. So correctly, this data suggests that TCR recognized hepatic antigen in the sinusoid. We then moved on uh, and attempted to uh, determine the rule of a hepatic antigen presentation in the induction of HBB specific CD tissues. Uh, specifically, uh, we wanted to determine whether antigen presentation by hepatocyte is sufficient to induce functional HBB specific CD tissues by removing MHC class 1 expression on professional antigen presenting cells. We also determined whether antigen presentation by hepatocyte is required uh, for the induction of functional HBB specific CD tissues by removing uh, MHC class 1 expression from hepatocyte. So this is the experimental design, which is uh, slightly complicated. In the first group, HBB transgenic mice were irradiated, but now uh, adaptively transferred with a bone marrow or isolated from normal B6 mice. So in these mice, uh, the both hepatocyte and professional antigen presenting cells can present antigen to the uh, T cells, just like the normal HBB transgenic mice. In the second group, uh, HBB, specific, uh, HBB transgenic mice are again irradiated, but now they're reconstituted with the bone marrow isolated from MHC class 1 deficient uh, mice. So in these mice, only a hepatocyte can present antigen to the uh, HBB specific CD T cells. So this allows us to determine whether the uh, antigen presentation by hepatocyte is sufficient uh, for the induction of HBB specific CD T cells. In the third group, we closed HBB transgenic mice with the MHC class 1 deficient mice twice, generating MHC class 1 deficient HBB specific CD T cells. We again irradiated these mice and then uh, reconstituted now with the uh, uh, bone marrow isolated from the normal uh, B6 mice. So in this group, the uh, only professional antigen presenting cells, but not hepatocyte, can present antigen to HBB specific T cells. So in this group, you can actually test whether, how, to which extent the hepatic antigen presentation is required uh, for the induction of HBB specific CD T cells. Now, we waited more than two months uh, for bone marrow reconstitution is completed, and we injected under CD40 antibody in these mice, and then adaptively transferred HPV specific type T cells. And on days one and seven, we monitored activation and uh, grand MB expression, which is a marker of the, the uh, cytotoxicity. Uh, we also monitored the expansion of HPV specific CD T cells. And these TCR responses are correlated with the degree of liver disease by monitoring serum ART activity. So as you can see, the lack of MHC class 1 expression on a bone marrow derived cell had virtually no impact at all on the activation of HBB specific CD T cells. Even more surprisingly, the HBB specific CD T cells differentiate into the uh, very highly cytotoxic T cells in the absence of MHC class 1 expression on bone marrow derived cells. In contrast, the expansion of HBB specific CD T cells was significantly reduced in this condition, resulting in more than 23 fold reduction in the expansion. Uh, reflecting the reduction of the HBB specific CD T cells, the, uh, the degree of liver disease was also reduced by more than 4.5 fold. This data suggests that the hepatic antigen presentation is sufficient to activate the HBB specific CD T cells and induce cytotoxic ability, but not for the uh, maximum expansion and liver disease. Now the yellow bar indicates the T cell responses and the serum ability activity in the absence of MHC class 1 expression on hepatocyte. As you can see here, the, the majority of HBB specific CD T cell could be still fully, uh, fully activated in the absence of MHC class 1 expression on hepatocyte, indicating that the, those T cells were activate, activated by cross presentation that acquired the HBB antigens. Uh, surprisingly, however, uh, those T cells did not uh, develop uh, the uh, cytolytic ability. 
Even more surprisingly, they did not expand at all in the absence of MHC class 1 expression on hepatocyte. Because they do not express MHC class 1, class 1 on hepatocyte, uh, these mice, the LT levels in these mice remained uh, virtually normal. So these data suggest that antigen presentation by professional antigen presentation is far from sufficient for the functional differentiation. Uh, correctly, these data su suggest that antigen presentation by hepatocyte is required for the expansion and cytolytic differentiation of HBB specific CD T cells. So uh, these data suggest that the hepatocyte antigen presentation plays far more important role uh, than previously appreciated uh, for the induction of HBB specific CD T cells. If this is the case, we think that it is probably more reasonable to directly stimulate the uh, HPV specific T cells in the liver uh, rather than the activating professional antigen presenting cells. So the uh, Keiko Kawashima in our group is testing this hypothesis and present his data tomorrow. We hope some of these approaches will lead to the curing the uh, chronic HPV infections. So in conclusion, uh, antigen presentation by hepatocyte plays an essential role in the induction of HPV, specifically the T cells, T cell responses. And I would like to end my talk by acknowledging those who are participated in this study. I'd like to thank Dr. Uh, Yasuhito Tanaka's group at Nagoya State University. And some of the, the images were taken by my uh, longtime collaborator, Luca Guidotti, and Matteo Iannacone at San Rafael Scientific Institute. And the majority of those imaging analysis was uh, uh, performed mainly by me with great help uh, from the, uh, Dr. Uh, Ron Jamain and Jackson Egan at NIH. And I cannot thank enough uh, my mentor, Dr. Frank Chitari, uh, for the uh, training me and the uh, uh, continuous uh, stimulation. So thank you very much for your attention. Uh, thank you, Prof. Uh, Dr. Isoga, for your beautiful, amazing presentation. Uh, now, this paper is open to discussion, and we have several minutes for discussion. Uh, do you have any comments or uh, questions from the floor? Okay. Uh, yes, please. So I'm Ui Chashin from KAIST in Korea. Thank you for a very nice talk. And now uh, you show that the hepatocyte is more important for the antigen presentation yes. to prime the naive mm -hmm. antigen spec CD8 T cell. But they don't have the B7, such kind of cosmic molecule. Right. So what do you think, without cosmic molecule, how they efficiently the prime the naive T cell? That, actually, I, we're testing that possibilities. Uh, but the short answer is we don't know. The, maybe the, those inflammatory stimulus induced by anti cd 40 antibody might be sufficient uh, to provide some kind of uh, secondary uh, stimulation to the naive T cells. But as you saw that the t expansion of T cell was still significantly reduced in the absence of the, the uh, professional antigen presenting cell antigen presentation. So that I'm not saying that the, the co-stimulation or the antigen presentation by professional antigen presenting cell is not required at all. But the antigen presentation by hepatocyte seems to play more important role than the, the professional antigen presenting cell. Thank you. Yeah, this is a very um, excellent piece of work. Thank you very much. Yeah, apart from the um, uh, antigen presentations by the hepatocytes, uh, do you have a chance to understand uh, the cytokine profiles uh, uh, involved in the activations? Yes, that is a very interesting question and excellent question. And we are also studying that part. And then uh, Keigo Kawashima tomorrow will show how the type of interferon signaling is important for the induction of HPV specific CD8 T cells. We also performed the microarray analysis on those T cells. And then we are uh, now trying to, to reveal which kind of cytokine is important. What I can tell you is IL-12, providing IL-12 signaling was not yeah, sufficient sure. for the induction of CD T cells. Mm -hmm. That's all I know at this moment. Yes. Uh, are there any questions? Uh, may I ask one question? Yes. Uh, 
in your original transgenic mouse model, MHC, MHC expression on hepatocyte is not impaired. Right. But uh, the cytotoxic T cell activity is impaired in the orig original transgenic mouse model. Right. What is the reason of the impaired CTL activities in the original model? Uh, yes, thank you very much for the uh, very interesting question. The, in the original paper that we did not really use the, the anti-CD40 antibody. So in the absence of the inflammatory signals, the antigen presentation by hepatocyte leads to the T cell tolerance. But if you stimulate the cytokine production by professional antigen presenting cells, that is sufficient uh, for the T cell to differentiate into cytotoxic T cells. But I, I'd like to know uh, the effect or influence of the HBB protein expression in the hepatocyte on yes. the MHC activity or some kind of uh, natures. Yes, there is the, the, uh, uh, the report that the indicate the HBB X protein reduces MHC class one expression. But as you know, under the normal uh, condition, HBB X expression is not particularly high. So I'm not so sure how, if you overexpress X, X antigen, that can reduce MHC class one expression. Mm -hmm. But no. under normal condition, we don't know. I believe that there are numerous literature or studies uh, about the MHC cross one expression on hepatocyte in the HBB infected uh, yes. liver. Mm -hmm. And uh, generally, an MHC1 expression is reduced in the and HBB infected liver. Is it right? I think, yes. The Most of the paper published uh, claim the MHC cross one expression is somehow reduced by HBB. But I think if they did not find a reduction of MHC class one expression, they could not publish that. Mm -hmm. So I think there is a conflicting <laughs> issue. <laughs> but but uh, your data clearly uh, demonstrated that the reduced MHC one expression on the hepatocyte is uh, important for yes. the T cell activation, not yeah. the cytotoxic T cell activity mm -hmm. uh, against hepatocyte. Uh, yeah. I think this is a, a wonderful and new point of your study. Thank you very much. Are there any questions? Okay. Okay, thank you, uh, Dr. Isoga, for your beautiful presentation. <laughs>